Hello children, welcome to the second session of the topic data handling. In the previous session, I had asked you a puzzle. Are you able to solve it? Come, let us go through it. There is an empty 3 by 3 grid and you need to fill the grid with any numbers but there is a condition. The number in the middle of each line that is horizontally, vertically and also diagonally should be the average of the two numbers on either of its sides. I will show you one of the many possible solutions which is very simple. So here the middle number should be the average of the two numbers on its sides. So 1 plus 3 divided by 2 will be 4 divided by 2 which is 2. So this is correct. Similarly we can also verify this column. So the average of the numbers on its sides is 3 plus 9 by 2 which is 12 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6. So this is also correct. Now we will also check the diagonal. So 3 plus 7 divided by 2 is 10 by 2 which is 5. This is also valid. Similarly you can check that all the values are averages of the numbers on its sides. You have learnt about integers recently. Here is one more possible way using only negative integers. I want you to try to get some more solutions. Also trying using both the positive and negative integers. Children, do you know who was the youngest Indian cricket player to play their first one day international? It was Sachin Tendulkar. He played his first cricket match when he was about 16 years in the year 1989. And do you know who was the youngest Indian Prime Minister? It was Rajiv Gandhi. He served as Prime Minister of India from 1984 to 89. So we will look at some of the related statistics now. You can see the data of ages of 6 youngest Indian cricket players when they played their first match. Also the ages of 6 youngest Prime Ministers of India. Before we calculate the average, children make an estimate or guess of what the average could be for each of these. Now we will calculate the average of youngest ODI debutants. So as we can see we have three 17s. We can also write it as 17 threes that is 51 and we have two 18s that will be 36. So 6 plus 6 12 plus 1 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 103. So the average will be 103 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the average is 17.1 years. Now we will calculate the average of the youngest PMs. Now we will calculate the average of youngest PMs. 8 plus 8, 16. Plus 6, 22. So that is 342. And the average will be 342 divided by 6. So the average is 57 years. Children, look at the variation in the career of a cricketer and the career of a prime minister. See the number of years of difference. It's 40 years. You might have seen ratings to movies, plays, etc. And also on the internet when you are looking to buy some products. How are these product reviews and ratings given? How are they calculated? Come let us look at it. Two children Manu and Maya participated in an art expo. And the visitors had given them these ratings. So how do we know who got better ratings? First let us calculate Manu's average. So Manu has got 8 5 stars that is
and 5 4 star ratings. and 3 3 star ratings and 2 2 star ratings and none of the 1 star ratings. Now we have to see what the total of this thing is. Instead of adding these numbers, we can group numbers and then use multiplication. How many 5's we have? We have 8 5's. Then we have 5 4's. Then we have three threes and finally we have two twos. So this will be 40 plus 20 plus 9 plus 4 that is 60, 60 plus 9, 69 plus 4, 73. So we have Manu's total as 73. We will calculate the average in some time. Now let us calculate Maya's total. So we have 7 5 stars that is 7 times 5 plus 6 4 stars. Then 3 3 stars. And then a 1 2 star and a 1 of 1 star. So the total will be 7 times 5 is 35, then 6 times 4 is 24, 3 3 is a 9, 2 and then 1. So this will be, so Maya's total is 71. Now we have Manu's total as 73 and Maya's total as 71. Now we have to calculate the average, that is divide this by the number of visitors who shared the reviews. So if we add all these numbers, we will get the number of visitors who gave Manu's reviews. 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 18. And Maya's review is also 7 plus 6 is 13, 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 18. Now if we divide these two numbers, we will get Manu's ratings and Maya's ratings. So Manu got a total rating of 4.05 and Maya got a total rating of 3.94. So we can say that Manu got better ratings. Now you know how these average ratings are calculated which will help us easily choose what we want. Here is one more set of interesting data. This is about sumo wrestlers and ballet dancers. Sumo is a Japanese form of wrestling and ballet is a dance form which originated in Europe. These are the weights of some sumo wrestlers and some ballet dancers. Children, make an estimate of what the average sumo wrestlers weight and the average ballet dancers weight can be. These are the averages. Now let us try to find their combined average that is what is the average weight of all these sumo wrestlers and ballet dancers combined. Now we have to calculate the total average of all these people. So what should we do? You may say that we can add 240.3 and 42.4 which are these averages and then divide by 2. Children, that won't give the actual average, isn't it? Because what average means is the sum of all the values divided by the total number of people. So the sum of all these people, how can we get the sum of all these people? So what we can do is, we know that 240.3 is the average of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sumo wrestlers. So the total sum of sumo wrestlers, what we can do is, we can multiply the average by the total number of people. 
so which gives 1201.5 kgs so this is the total weight of all sumo wrestlers similarly we will calculate the total weight of all ballet dancers so what will it be the average into the number of dancers the number of dancers is 6 so that will be that will be 254.4 kgs so the total weight of all ballet dancers is 254.4 kgs that is the total weight now that we have the total weight of sumo wrestlers and also the total weight of ballet dancers we can add these two to get the total weight of all these people the total weight of both the sumo wrestlers and ballet dancers combined will be this gives 1455.9 kgs now if we want to find the average weight we just divide this by the total number of people so how many are there in total we have five sumo wrestlers and then six ballet dancers so the total is 11 people so this will give so the average will be 1455.9 divided by 11 so the average weight of all these people is 132.35 kgs there are 20 kids playing some marbles games and they split themselves into two groups of 10 each and they had just studied about famous historical dynasties of india and they were very amused and inspired by them so they named their teams as chalukyas and kadambas Ten kids of Team Chadukya have these many marbles, and the ten kids of Team Kadamba have these marbles. And they calculated their averages and found that Chadukyas had 24.4 and Kadambas had 31.2. Now they were confused what to do. They wanted to make their averages as close as possible before starting the game so that they can make it a fair game so Kadamba said as we have a higher average we will send two of our members to your team then our averages will get closer so Chalukyas agreed so Chalukyas agreed and Kadamba sent two of their members Now again they calculated their averages. Surprisingly, Chalukya's average had reduced to 23 and Kadamba's average had increased to 35. Children, how is this possible? Kadamba's had higher average when they sent their members to Chalukya. Don't you think Chalukya's average should increase and Kadamba's average should decrease? Then Chalukyas thought that these Kadambas are being mischievous. So they told, we don't want your members, take them back. Now everything was back to square one. So Kadambas proposed one more idea. They told, as your average is low, we will take two of your members. Then both our averages will come closer. Then Chalukyas thought, okay, let us see. And they agreed. So Kadambas chose two members from Chalukyas. Now what had happened? Again they calculated their averages. The Chalukyas were shocked. Their average had reduced this time also to 20.6. Whereas Kadambas average was slightly more than their initial average. Now it was 32.58. This time the Chalukyas were very angry as these Kadambas were just wasting time instead of sorting it out and starting the actual game. 
Again they told, give back our team members. Then they thought, why this was happening? And they figured out. Now children, have you found out how this happened? Think, when Kadamba sent two, two of their members to Chalukyas, the Chalukyas average reduced and Kadamba's average increased. Think, which numbers Kadambas would have chosen? In the same way, when Kadambas chose two of the Chalukyas members, again the Chalukyas average reduced whereas Kadambas average increased. Which numbers made this possible? Now I will give you a hint. Say we have the numbers 1, 3, 4, 5 and 7. What is their average? So the total is 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 7 is 20. So the total is 20 and we have 5 numbers. So 20 divided by 5. So the average of these numbers will be 20 divided by 5 that is 4. Say if I remove the number 7 from this group of numbers, we will have 1, 3, 4 and 5. Now what is the new average? 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. And we have 4 numbers. So 13 divided by 4 will be the average. So the average is 3.25. Children. Look what happened to the average. When I removed the number 7, which is greater than the average, the average reduced. Isn't it? Say, instead of removing 7, if I remove the number 3, then we have the numbers 1, 4, 5 and 7. Now let us calculate the average. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. So the average will be 17 divided by 4. So the average now is 4.25. Children, observe what has happened. When I removed the number 3, which was less than the average, my average increased. Isn't it? Say now, I insert 0 to this group of numbers. And we will see what happens to the average. So the, so, the total is 20, so the average will become 20 divided by, we have 6 numbers. Children, see what has happened. When we insert a number which is less than average, that is, I inserted a 0 which was less than average. What happened to the average? It reduced. Say now, I insert the number 10 to these set of numbers. Now let us look at what the average will become. So the total of these numbers is 30 and we have 6 numbers. So the average will be, so their average will be 5. Now see what has happened. When we inserted a number which is greater than average, the average increased, isn't it? So the first time what happened was, Two people from Kadamba went to Chalukya and what happened? Chalukya's, Chalukya's average decreased whereas Kadamba's average increased. Now which numbers should Kadamba's choose such that when they send two of their team members to Chalukya's their average increases but Chalukya's average decreases. So, if their, if the Kadamba's average had to increase, they should choose numbers less than their average. So, we will see which numbers are less than 31.2. We have 26, we have 18, we have 14 and also here we have 28. So, they should have chosen two of these numbers. But it also happened that Chalukya's average decreased when two numbers were inserted here. So, if two numbers are being added here and the Chalukya's average is reducing, then those numbers should be less than the average.
that is those numbers should be less than 24. So, which numbers are less than 24 in these four? You can see that it is 18 and 14. So, Kadambas had sent the persons with 14 and 18 marbles to Chalukyas. Hence, the Kadambas average increased whereas the Chalukyas average decreased. Whereas the second time what happened is Kadambas chose two persons from Talukyas. That is, they took two people from Talukyas to Kadambas. Then what had happened? Kadambas average increased and Talukyas average decreased. So if so two persons are being added to Kadambas and their average is increasing. So, they already have an average of 31.2. If their average has to increase by adding two more persons, they should choose the numbers higher than their average from Chalukyas. We will look at the numbers higher than 31. So, we have a 38 and we also have a 41. Are there any other numbers? No. Okay. So, Kadambas had chosen 38 and 41 from Chalukyas. Once Chalukyas had figured out what was happening, the Chalukyas proposed an idea. They told, we will send one of our members to your team and in exchange, we will pick one member from your team. Then the Kadambas understood that their mischief is finished and they finally agree. Whom should they choose from their team to send to Kadambas and which team member from Kadamba should they choose to include in their team so that both these averages come closer. Now the Chalukyas have to remove one of the team members and their average should increase. So, which number should we choose? Lesser than average or greater than average? Yes, if we choose a number lesser than average and remove it, our average will increase. So, they will choose the least number that is less than 24. If they choose 11, that would be a better choice. They can give 11 to Kadambas and in exchange they have to choose one more person from Kadambas to be included in their team. Number should they choose from Kadambas so that the average will increase. If the average has to increase they have to choose a higher number to be included. So they can choose the highest number greater than 24. So the highest number will be 45. So they can take 45 from Kadambas. Now after this exchange, you can calculate what each of the averages of Chalukyas and Kadambas will be. Have they gotten closer than before? Check it out. Children, you have seen what this is in the last session. The kids are standing at positions 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 8 and the average is calculated as 4 and the average is calculated as 4. Now if one more kid is joining and we don't want to change the average of or the ball's position, where should we make her stand? Think children. As you can observe, if we place the new person to the ball's left, then the left hand sum will increase. And if we place them to the right of the average, then the right hand sum will increase. And in both these cases, the average will change. So, where else can we put? 
we can place them on the average itself, isn't it? Then the left hand sum and the right hand sum will still be equal. Now, tell me if two more kids are joining, where can we place them without changing the average? Both can stand on the average itself or one can stand on either side of the average but at the same distance from the average. That is, for example, think that is, for example, one kid can stand on 3 and the other on 5 or one kid can stand on 1 and the other at 7. And there are so many other ways. Similarly, think if three kids are joining, where can they stand without changing the average? For a given data, if a number less than the average is inserted, then the new average will be lesser compared to the previous average. In the same way, if a number greater than the average is inserted, then the average will be higher. Similarly, when a number less than average is removed from data, then the newer average will be higher. And if a number greater than average is removed, then the newer average will be lower. And what will happen if we insert or remove a number which is same as the average? What will happen? The average will stay same. Here is a piece of humor related to what you have learned so far. Three statisticians went hunting together. After a while, they spotted a rabbit. The first person takes aim, but he overshoots. The second one aims and he undershoots. The third one shouts out in excitement. We got him. Children, I have a small task for you. Calculate the average age of your family. How to do this? First. Make a note of all the ages of your family members. Then what do we do? We add up all of them and then divide by the total number of people. See what you get. Can you think what the average will be next year? And can you also think what the average was in the last year? Do this before the next session. We played around mean and learned many things about it. We will learn some other measures of central tendency in the next session. I will see you in the next class.